Hi everyone and welcome to part 3 of how to paint Jane's R. Now today, for this one, I'm going to be focusing on the weapons. So I'm going to be starting out with a mix of Abaddon Black and Caliban Green. Now you don't have to do it this way, but I just wanted to make the green a little bit darker there. And as you can see, I've already got the mix set up there. And I'm just going to start applying that to all of the areas of which I want to be green. So obviously that being the blade. And I'm also going to go all the way down for the rest of the spear. Well, it's not exactly a spear, I don't think, but I'm not really sure what to call it. So you want to do th uh, two thin coats of this. So just keep applying that, fairly watered down. Not, not overly, but just a little bit there. And now for the first highlight, just going to be using Caliban Green. And again, just getting a good mix there, just with a little bit of water. And just working back against the blade, just in a single stroke motion, moving across, I just want to begin highlighting that. Just making sure that we leave a little bit of that Abaddon Black and Caliban Green visible. So now for this next step, just going to be moving on to roughly a 50-50 mix of Caliban Green and Warpstone Glow. Now, as I've said previously though, I believe in my last video, um, when it comes to character models, you don't have to get an exact 50-50 mix. It'd be more so if you're doing something like, you know, a specific color mix for an army, for example. So I'm just going to go for it there until I'm happy with it. I'm pretty happy with that. So just going to be focusing on the edges of the blades. And again, just with each progressive highlight, just ensuring that I leave some of that previous color visible. I mean, 
when you look closely at a miniature uh, that someone's painted and you know if you've done something like six five or six highlights you can really see the build up the gradual build up even if only there's I don't know something like millimeters in each highlight that's uh, still visible um, it looks it looks really really cool so even if you only leave just the smallest amount visible it is really noticeable upon closer inspection and in my opinion really worthwhile particularly for character models And as you can see, it's really starting to build up now. So just gonna be moving on to Warp Stone Glow. Now I should mention with my previous highlight, generally because of the jump between Caliban Green and Warp Stone Glow, whenever I'm using these colors, I do tend to do the mix of Caliban Green and Warp Stone Glow. Um, alternatively, you can just do uh, two thin coats of Warp Stone Glow as the one tends to be quite transparent uh, once it's dried, but it's entirely up to you. It's just how I do it. So once again, just going to be building up that color. Again, just focusing on the edges, so not much on the brush, and just get a nice angle there on the brush. And just work away from the blade as well. Just gives you a little bit more control. And just continue to work those edges around all of the blades.
And again, just working the edges here. And just getting my brush on a good angle, I'm just gonna be working away from the blade here. Pretty much just on the tip. Almost imagine, I mean, when it comes to the, these greens in particular, almost imagine as though it's kind of like, um, think of like a Skaven weapon with how there would be, uh, you know, poison on the end of the blade. In a way, that's kind of what I was thinking of when I decided to go these colors, uh, choose these colors for the weapons. And now moving on to one of the last highlights, just going to be going straight to mood green for this. And again, just not much on the brush whatsoever. Just really take your time with this highlight. And as you can see there, I'm using my pinky finger just to help steady my hand. May not work for everyone, but occasionally I do like to do that. Just in whichever way you can, you know, try and practice ways where you can help steady your hand. Because there are a lot of people out there who do get shaky hands, but you shouldn't let it impede your ability to paint, you know, um, in a tidy manner. But that just comes with practice, so don't stress too much if you don't get every single stroke, brush stroke, you know, dead straight or exactly how you want it. It's just practice makes perfect.
And now I'm just going to be doing a highlight of Flash Gets Yellow mixed with Moot Green. Definitely having more of the Moot Green in there as the Flash Gets Yellow is quite vibrant. So you won't really need a lot of it to uh, brighten up the Moot Green there. And now just really just focusing on the edges and you can see there that it's really bringing it out just, just as a final touch. Now I just wanted to mention to everyone as well, there was originally meant to be a part four for my painting tutorial of Jane's R. Now, unfortunately, just with the last few bits of the miniature that I did, um, I wasn't actually too happy with uh, how I went about them. So I actually had to go back and redo them. But upon redoing them, I actually forgot to film uh, uh, fixing up those um, parts that I wasn't too happy with. So unfortunately, I won't actually be including that part. But that being said, I hope that the three parts that I have provided have been of a lot of help to those taking on this model or perhaps even just utilizing some of the things that I've done on this miniature on other miniatures. And with all that being said guys that's going to be the end of this tutorial. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial of how to paint Jane's R. I will have a few new tutorials coming out soon. One that I'm really excited for in particular is going to be the Farsia, which I'm really close to finishing now. So as soon as I've done that, I'll get to editing out a new video for it. And a couple of others I have in mind, such as a lava base and how to paint ghost axes and four shields I want to do for my wraith blades. But anyway, if you liked this video, leave a comment, uh, perhaps a comment of something you might like to see me do in the future. Like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching everyone.